Good morning, my fourth grade students. Today, we will start with the activity book exercises for unit 15. Uh, what time did you arrive? So, we will start with exercise number one. The title is What time did you arrive? These exercises are for يعني هدول هم تابعين لنفس واحدة خمستاش The previous presentation uh, I uploaded here on YouTube So the first exercise we have three pictures One, two, three And we have this blue color on part of each picture Okay, so first one we have here this little part, the small part here. And here we have part, blue part here. And we have here the big part here. Okay. We have three words, a tunnel, a canyon, and a rock. The first one is already answered. It's a tunnel. This is the tunnel. Number B, look at this. We have this narrow part between two mountains. This is the canyon. This is the canyon. So B is canyon. And number C is the rock. So B a canyon, C a rock. Exercise number two, we have to look and complete. We have here four pictures and we have here four questions. And we need to answer each question based on the picture. من نجاوب على كل سؤال بناء على الصورة. طبعا من نستخدم أو من نتبع قواعد بناء الجملة. Sentence structure. Subject. Verb. Complement. Well, verb, uh, you need to be in the simple past form. So, number, uh, number one. What time did you arrive? What time did you arrive? We have here clock picture. It is at 11 o'clock. So we arrived at 11 o'clock. We arrived at 11 o'clock. This exercise is from um, exercise number one in your pupil book. Women Dersnal Awal P. Wahda Hamastash Fi Kitabna Pupil Book. So, يعني إن ما عرفنا كيف إنه ممكن نصيغ الجملة بنقدر نرجع لها لكتاب. Number two, how did you travel? How? How did you travel? The, the, this word how means كيف, which means how did you come here? By car, by train, by plane. So, how did they come here? How did they travel? They traveled by car. We traveled by car. Number three, what did you learn about? What's this picture for the grid? What's this? This picture is Petra. So they learned about Petra. We learned about Petra. And number four here, where did some people live? Where did some people live? Some people lived in a cave. This is the cave. Cave. This is the cave. So some people lived in a cave. Hello, I need you to pay attention. The verb we used here come from the question. Where did some people live? What did you learn about? How did you travel? What time did you arrive? Here is arrived. And here is a traveled. Here is learned. And here is lived. Sorry. Lived. So, if we need to answer any question, we need to use the verb from the question then use it in the answer with the simple present form the verb to okay so let's move to exercise number three copy and try it question mark or full stop or what we call per period so nukta means period or full stop Qu this is the question mark question mark so when we use the question mark 
we use this question mark with questions this is a question so I'll so we use the question mark with the questions why the full stop or the period we use it with the sentences with the answers look at number one how did you travel how did you travel and question mark now what are um or, or how we can begin a question في حالتين we can begin questions either with yes or no question يبلش ب did was where is are or do does بيكون جواب هيا اما yes يا اما no yes or no questions or we can use wh questions how where what when why who for uh, what it's about asking about um, something like places something sorry something uh, like table chair what's this what's the matter uh, where for the places when for time who for the person for people and uh, which is for both for people and for things and we have why also why for reason how about kaifa كيف عم بسأل عن الكيفية سواء عن الحال سواء عن الوسيلة اللي قدموا فيها أو سافروا فيها إلى آخره. So number two, where did you stay? Where did you stay? So here where wh question. So we need to use a. So this is the full stop for the previous one. We travel by car. Yes, we have to use here with number two question mark where did you stay where did you stay we stayed in a hotel period or full stop number three what did you visit here what did you visit is it a question mark yes it's a question mark and here we visited a cave it is a period so we use a question mark with wh questions or with um, the yes or no questions like did does do was where is are am do does these these uh, auxiliaries الافعال المساعده اذا بدات في بدايه الجمله بتكون دائما سؤال so we need to end it with a question mark okay let's move to exercise number four write questions now we have here sentences and you and un this underlined يعني there is a part underlined في عنا جزء فقط هو اللي تحته خط واللي على أساس سوف نستخدم أداة السؤال المناسبة for example number one I played football here I played football and they underlined played football so we ask about الفعل احنا سالنا عن الفعل شو عملوا امبارح بدنا نسال هم ايش عملوا امبارح لما انا بحط الخط تحت الفعل والكومبليمنت بكون عم بسال انا عن الفعل لما انا بحط خط تحت الكومبليمنت بكون انا بدي اسال اما عن زمان او عن مكان او عن ثينك عن شيء so we need to know each wh questions refers to what so what refers to things but here we didn't just uh, put underlined under football ما حطينا خط بس تحت كلمة football احنا حطينا خط تحت played football so انا هون عم بسأل عن الفعل بسأل عن الفعل so كيف من نصيغ السؤال من هاد, من هاد الجملة what did you do yesterday did you do شو عملت بالضبط امبارح I played football Let's move to to number two. I played in the park. Underline in the park. In is 
fourth grade what in refers to in is a preposition preposition means انا بستخدمها للمكان اكثر شيء in the park so i i am answering something about a place place المكان place so what is the wh question from those that refers to the place it's where look at question number two here where did you stay we stayed in a hotel in a hotel لما انا بشوف بالجواب كلمة in after the verb معناته انا سألت عن مكان I'm asking about place so here will be the uh, the question is where did you play where did you play number three I played in the afternoon in the afternoon afternoon what's this afternoon means it's part of day معناته أنا عم بسأل عن زمن in the afternoon في المساء in the afternoon بعد الظهيرة I played in the afternoon so I'm asking about time and when I ask about time I use when when did you play when did you play so let's start exercise number five here you read you need to order and write the answers you have here the answers for these questions but the answers here are not ordered ordered means so you need to order it in the sentence structure من نرتبها في سياق بناء الجملة أنا بدي أرتب هاي السؤال بناء على سياق الجملة let's look at question number one where did you go in the holiday where did you go in the holidays we visited Petra if we look above here visited we Petra so we need to order it we put the pronoun because it's a subject we put it at the first and it becomes we visited Petra look at exercise as question number two how did you travel there how did you travel there and we have into by traveled we car هلا التريك اللي دائما بعلمها لطلابي لما انا ممكن بجيب لك سؤال على الاوردر اوردر اند رايت يو نيد تو لوك ات ذا فيرست ات ذا كابيتال وورد ذا وورد ذات ستارتس وذ كابيتال لتر فروم هير باي ترافلد وي كار وات از ذا وورد ذات ستارتس وذ كابيتال لتر شو الكلمه اللي بلشت بالكابيتال لتر هير سوري هير وي سو اي بوت ات ات ذا فيرست وي Then after the subject, we need a verb. طب دل عنا by, traveled, and car. What's, where, where is the verb here? Traveled is the verb. So we traveled, then by car. We traveled by car. شايفين؟ هن دائما بدور على الكلمة اللي بتبلش ب بكابيتال لتر طب ممكن يجي سؤال طب ما اسمها هي انه عنا وي فيزيتد بترا في عنا بترا كابيتال لتر وعنا الوي كابيتال لتر كيف هون بدنا نفهم او كيف بدنا نميز رح اذكركم بقواعد الكابيتالايزيشن اللي حكينا عنها واللي رح نحكي عنها اكثر برضه بوحده بيونت 16 قواعد الكابيتالايزيشن بتحكي انه لما انا بحكي عن اسماء الاماكن او اسماء الاشخاص او اسماء البلاد الاشهر ايام الاسبوع هدول الكلمات هي بتكون دائما كابيتال لتر سواء كانت في بدايه الجمله في نهايتها في منتصفها بينما كلمه زي وي تبرونون هي ما بتتكبر الا في حال واحد فقط بدايه الجمله او انها تكون بعد النقطه So, إذا هي هون ما في عندي أنا نقطة وما في عندي 
إلا أن هي تنحط في بداية الجملة لأنها هي pronoun ولا pronoun بيجي بمكان uh, subject so هي لازم تكون بالأول أما بترا بنقدر نحطها بأي مكان في الجملة وبتكون دائما بالcapital letter so that's we need to distinguish between them وهذا الشيء على فكرة الهاي التريكس بتساعدنا كيف إحنا نحل ال نحل حتى لو في كلمات ممكن إحنا ثلاث كلمات بتبلش بالكابيتال لتر فور إكزامبل مش بس كلمة واحدة لما أنا ب بكون عارفة على أي أساس تترتب أولويات الجملة أو أنا متى مثلا ممكن بستعمل الكابيتال لتر من السمول لتر وإيش هي الكلمات المحددة بالضبط اللي أنا بستعمل فيها الكابيتال لتر هذا إشي كثير بسهل علينا حل السؤال Number three, where did you stay? So I'm going to ask you about place. Where? Where did you stay? Here, number three, in stayed a we hotel. نفس الشيء. أنا ببلش بالكلمة اللي بتبدأ بكابيتال لتر دائما هي اللي بجيبها عند بحطها في بداية الجملة. وإذا لاحظتوا عنا بترا وكار وهوتل في جنبهم period full stop. مدام هون في عندي period أو full stop معناته هاي الكلمة هي آخر كلمة في الجملة ما بنفع أنا أحط الكلمة اللي جنبها full stop ال period أو النقطة أحطها بمنتصف الجملة ما بيزبط هم هون عم بسهلوا علينا عشان إحنا نقدر نحل التمرين بترا جنبها ال full stop تنحط دائما دائما الكلمة اللي بتكون جنبها النقطة دائما بتنحط في ب... في آخر الجملة أو في آخر السؤال بين بآخر الجملة سوري واللي بتكون عندها الكوستشن مارك تبقى بآخر السؤال ولكن الكلمة اللي بتكون كابيتال بتنحط دائما في بداية الجملة ما عدا إذا كانت من قواعد الكابيتاليزيشن إن كانت أسماء أشخاص أو أسماء بلاد أسماء أشهر أسماء الأيام أسماء الأماكن وإذا كانت بعد النقطة هون في بصير الاختلاف Look at three here we stayed in a Hotel. دائما ال structure subject verb complement. إنه a hotel complement phrase هي preposition plus noun. What did you do? What did you do? We looked at the caves. We looked at the caves. طب أنا ممكن هون طلعوا هون كيف هاي تقسيمتها شوي بتكون معقدة أكثر واللي يعني أغلب الطلاب ممكن يضيعوا لما بتكون الجملة فيها أكثر من آه كلمة إنه أنا I need to order it so مثل ما تعلمنا أنا بمسك أول شيء اللي عندها الكابيتال لتر وي وبحطها في البداية بعدين بمسك آخر الكلمة اللي جنبها البيريود أو الفلوستوب كيفز بحطها آخر إشي صف عندي لوكت وآت وذا هلا أنا بنزل عند الوي مدام أنا في عندي وي يعني subject معناته I need to put a verb في عنا آت وعنا ذا وعنا looked معناها أنا شو لازم أختار where's the verb is looked بحط ال looked صف عندي آت صف عندي ذا آه بعتقد انه رابع بتذكروا انه احنا حكينا الارتكلز اللي هم الذا والان والا لازم 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 يكونوا موجودين قبل الاسم يعني هم لازم يكونوا فولد باي ناون لازم يكونوا متبوعين بناون وراهم اسم دائما سو so انا في عندي كيفز معناها تلقائيا انا لازم احط الذا للتعريف قبل الاسم بفور كيفز صف عندي وي لوكت وذا كيفز وصف عندي ات واللي هي البروبوزيشن وي لوكت ات ذا كيفز هلا اذا انتم بلشتوا رتبتوا اموركم على هذا الاساس راح تكون الامور كثير سهله عليكم هلا اكسرسايز نمبر 6 ستريس اند كوبي هو انه انتم لازم يعني يو نيد تو رايت ات نيتلي اند كوريكتلي ومثل ما تعودنا رابع على السطر نرسم الحرف بطريقه صحيحه نتفرج كيف الاكزامبلز اللي قبل ونمشي عليهم اكسرسايز نمبر 7 لسن اند رايت وي هاف هير بوتوم سمر اند تانل اي اكسبلين ذس ان برزنتيشن اوف بيبل بوك في البرزنتيشن اللي قبل هاد وضحنا انه الفونكس هدول 
كيف احنا بنلفظهم how we pronounce in m it t bottom summer tunnel so you will listen to words with the same letters with n n or m m or t t and you need to write these words in the on the lines so for example you will listen to a, a word like tennis so you need to write it in tennis n tennis n n so in the the column of tunnel exercise number 8 you need to put or form questions for these answers for example number 1 i did my homework the question is what did you do yesterday what did you do yesterday طيب نيجي لquestion number 2 we went to aqaba we went went the simple past of go to aqaba بما انه عندي الكومبليمنت to aqaba انا عم بسال عن مكان the question will be where did you go last week اين ذهبت من الاسبوع الماضي number 3 we traveled by car by car عم بسال عن الكيفيه so i need to use how how did do you how did you travel to erbed how did you travel to erbed uh, excuse me here i need to put you here after that you need to put you هون صار في خطا مطبعي so uh, i'm sorry for that let's move to exercise number 9 read the poem and tick poem this word what this mean poem poem means in arabic قصيدة لما أنا بدي أحكي عن القصيدة تسمى poem وكاتب القصيدة أو الشاعر يسمى poet this is a poem the writer is called a poet just replace m with t بتصير العكس بتصير إن poem is in the noun القصيدة poet is الشاعر الكاتب هاي القصيدة so this is a poem this is a poem and we need to read it to uh, to find out what is this poem about نعرف هي عن ايش هاي البوم بالضبط we hear you uh, have three choices the clothes the poet likes is he talking about the clothes الملابس اللي هو بحبها or what the poet likes to eat about إنه إيش هو بحب الشاعر يأكل أو what the poet likes أو شو هو الشاعر بحب بشكل عام let's read my favorite hat is yellow my favorite dress is blue my favorite meal is chicken and my favorite friend is you my favorite hat is yellow My favorite dress is blue. My favorite meal is a chicken, and my favorite friend is you. Look at the choices. Does he uh, did he talk about the clothes the poet likes? هل هو كان يحكي عن الملابس اللي حبها؟ هو حكى عن the dress. The favorite dress is blue, but it's not all the poem about this favorite dress. هي ما كانت كلها عن هاد الدرس اللي بحبه. بنفس الوقت هي ما كانت عن عن الاكل اللي هو بفضلها الشاعر ذكر mentions many things he likes so the the suitable answer will be is three what the poet likes so the answer you need to put tick here and number three and uh, this is the end here we ended or we finished the unit 15 activity book exercises so i hope you understand the video and see you later inshallah in other videos